I've just finished another semester at university and I'm really psyched to climb. Unfortunately, the weather is really bad in Innsbruck right now. It's below freezing, so it's not possible to climb here. Luckily, Twin has invited me back to India, so I'll be climbing in Badami in Hampi soon and I'm really looking forward to this trip. I'm having a layover here in Bangalore and I thought I might use the time creatively and I want to see a palm reader and ask him what he thinks about the upcoming trip. Okay, he says uh, you have studied a lot but maybe you could have studied more. <laughs> you did yeah. Okay, very interesting. Okay, uh, he says you will travel a lot. But is it a safe travel? No, it's safe. Yes, it's safe. Safe travel. Safe travel. Safe travel. Hey, it's Owen, man. How are you? Welcome to India. Thanks. Sorry, I'm so late. No, I missed all my flights. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm here. First, Tuin came to Austria to see how I train and see how the Austrians have gyms and places to train and everything really nice set up and then we went to Italy to rock climb and then he invited me back to India to show me the great potential of rock climbing around Padami especially the route Ganesh which is the hardest route in India which he has just recently climbed so this is Ganesh and the route starts down there and the crux move and uh, the hard move is near the second anchor it's like a huge move and then till the fifth draw it's like the no foot all just smearing and yeah, all the way to the top, it's power moves and endurance. Ganesh were, for me was like uh, a dream for me because uh, there's no Indian who has climbed Ganesh before. The route is set on the right side of a big wall and I think it's the only possibility to get to the top of this wall. It's the only line there, which makes it really special and it's a cool, cool scenic route. The hardest part is the beginning, it has a really like reaching move to a small crimp. Then you have to change feet and make a cross to another small hole. And then there are many big holes, but there are no footholds at all. So you're hanging on your arms all the time and it's pretty pumpy. I expected a great line with amazing rock and that's what I got. Yeah, I did expect Helion to come in and just, <laughs> just send it. <laughs> Impressive. There's a ETA down here, it's the route's called Samsara, so I'll be climbing it now. Great effort. Yeah, thanks so, a lot. We're running out of roots now. Yes, we need to bolt some. Uh, it would be great if Tuin and I could find a new line which we would bolt and in the best case climb, the both of us. Uh, we've looked around yesterday and we found some possible lines. I think Ganesh is by far the best line here in this area and maybe one of the best routes I've climbed in my life. So with really high standard that we have to reach. Okay, you'll have a good trip and uh, things will work out for you, but again, you'll uh, have some troubles, find some hurdles along the way. Some tough challenges. Tough some tough challenges, challenges yes. Good. We found a very nice wall where we bolted a really awesome line yesterday. The problem with the route is that it is facing south and it's getting hot really early in the morning. Must be three in the morning. Two. Too tired. Can't even undo this rope. So the route starts with uh, an existing A day called Samsara and then parts after the third bolt and goes straight up through the head wall. And it's actually the main line on this face. There's a short boulder right where the two routes part, but it's not too difficult. Then there's an easy roof on good holds. And then there's the first and hardest crux right away in the slab. Uh, it has a really, really bad sloper, which is very hard to hold in these conditions.
And then there are some easier moves, but then a very powerful top and it will be very hard to link the whole thing from the bottom. Oh my god, it's much easier with left. Progress was really great on the route today. Uh, I managed to do all the moves now. I even linked some sequences. So it's now a matter of time, maybe skin, that I will climb the whole thing. Uh, most of the beautiful lines that you guys have also been bolting are in the middle of the sun. So as soon as the sun rises, seven in the morning, the, it's like the <laughs> friction is gone. You, you sweat. You slip, so you have to wake up at 6 to get here. So there was no progress in the route today because there was no wind at all. It's really misty already in the morning. Checking on the weather, two inches gave me the address of some websites where I could check for wind. <laughs> wind? At least two meters an hour. It's gonna blow us away. <laughs> I hope the draws are still there. <laughs> You are. Does he have anything maybe for the next two weeks? Like uh, it's my first time in India and maybe he can give me some advice what to do or what to avoid? Uh, he said that uh, India as a country has a lot to offer and you'll have new and unique experiences in India which you might not have in any other country in the world. You might come face to face with your own self which is what India as a culture is famous for. We saw some blacksmiths working at 30 degrees in the shadow, but they were working in the sunshine, working with this hot iron and with the fire. It was really impressive and unique. It's known as the country which you take the biggest cultural shock, but it's far away from anything I've ever seen. Obviously, it's an amazing country to travel in. Imagine a big, big chaos of movements and sounds and and noise and smell, and that's in you. So it's a tourist place, and it's the playground for climbers as well. And climbing has been happening here for a long time now. There are more than more than 70, 80 routes here and a lot to explore. It's getting famous and I hope there'll be a lot of climbing happening here in a few years. Yes, I love uh, bolting new routes. It feels good to find new lines and bolt it and then climb it. I had a really great time with Tuin in India. Unfortunately, the time passed by too quickly and it's my last day tomorrow and I'm psyched to give the route my last possible try. best try in the route. I almost got to stick the move. I really could feel like I slipped off this good crimp. But it, things will work out. Only it will take a little more time than you expect, so maybe you have to come back again. The ascent will have to wait. It's really, really difficult. So I think the route is for sure one of the hardest, maybe the hardest climb in India, but it remains to be done. But it's one of the most beautiful lines. Next year.